Okay, so let's get started. So, okay, we will continue from last lecture. So <coughs> we talked about uh, batch reactor and the CSTR uh, reactor, right? So CSTR is uh, actually flow reactor. Okay, uh, by the way, can, can you see the slides? No. Can you see the slide? Okay. No. Okay. Okay. Moment. How about now? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so today we are going to talk about another uh, flow reactor, a uh, plug flow reactor. So it's a tube, okay, it's a tube. So uh, to derive the more balances for a plug flow reactor, you know, it's a quite uh, different, you know, it's a little bit different from uh, the other uh, system. So this is the PFR, okay, PFR. So let's think about, okay, you have a tube. So you have a tube, okay. In this tube, right, if you have any FA zero, right? And finally, you actually have FA, right, final. The concentration or the um, molar flow rate changes with the position, right? It continues to changes, right? So you cannot use the, uh, the algebraic uh, method to derive the more balance for plug flow reactor. Instead, we need to use the differentiate method. So let's think about, okay, so we choose a very small volume in the tube reactor. For example, here, okay. So this is data V, it's very, very small. Okay, data V is very, very small. Uh, the, the limiting case is zero, okay. And now we know you have FA, right? And you have FA, uh, but this FA is for the volume at V plus delta V, right? Here is the V, okay? And here the volume is V plus delta V, right? Okay, then still we use the general equation, right? We in, but this in is at the location, at this location, V. At this location, we have at the volume V, okay? And then minus out, this out, of course, it's not at V, right? This is at the location V plus the, the V, right? And then we have generation. This generation is for that V at this region, right? And the steady state, that's zero. Steady state is zero. So in is FA, but we need to put the location is at V and out Okay, still FA because the data V is very, very small. Okay, so we still use FA to uh, describe the, uh, the out more flow rate, but the location is at V plus data V, right? And the generation. So the generation equals to the RA, the reaction rate times data V, right? The volume equal to zero. So for the limiting case, okay, as I mentioned, for the limiting case, data V, data V 
to zero. So what will happen, okay? So let's say take the limit, take the limit. Take limit means delta V to zero. Then delta V to zero, okay? We have F A at V minus F A at V plus delta V divided by delta V equal to R A, right? So this is actually, we rearrange this equation, right? We get this equation. We get this equation, right? So this is for the limiting. So you can hear if delta V approach zero, approach to zero. So this is actually we can use the differentiate, right? It's a differentiation. So D F A D V equal to R A equal to R A, right? Sorry. equal to R A, okay? So yeah. Is here. So this FA, right? That means, uh, so I can choose any uh, volume, okay? I choose any volume, a volume, a small volume in your tube, tube uh, reactor, okay? So for example, now the F, FA is at the location V. This location is V. Then you, because the, the small volume is delta V, so the outlet is V plus delta V. So I, I still use FA, but you see, I have the subscript. So this is the outlet at V plus that V. This inlet at, at the location V, okay? So, so that means, you know, actually this, this is the difference, right? Between inlet and outlet in actually in the data V volume, okay? Though so when the data V approach to zero, approach to zero, so you have the differentiate uh, form. Okay, now understand better? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got, I got, yeah, I got your, your question. Yeah, so here, I need to put a minus, minus, yeah, minus I here, yeah. thank, thank you, yeah. Yeah, minus, okay? So this is a minus, okay? So, so this is actually, uh, is the actually the uh, design equation, you know, for the uh, flow uh, reactor, for the, for the flow reactor, okay? So let's see, okay. Okay, yeah, this, oh, anyway, so, Sorry. So uh, what will happen, you know? What will happen, you know? Actually, so let's take, take a look at this equation, okay? Forget about this, uh, forget about this schematic. So what will happen, you know? So if you integrate, right? If you integrate, if you integrate, so the V equal to F, if from F A zero, right? to F A. So because this whole uh, volume of your reactor, right? So this is D F A minus. So this is R A again, R A again. So don't be confused, okay? Don't be confused. So this is R A, right? So that means actually what will happen, you know, if you uh, plot F A, with V, with V. The FA actually will decrease exponentially with, in the volume, okay, in the volume. So you, you will see again, you know, you will see again and again for this uh, uh, schematic, you know. So actually we have another way actually uh, can, can derive actually uh, this uh, 
uh, equation, you know. So still, you know, we start with the general, actually, uh, we start with the general equation, okay? So this is a, this is a, a PFR. So we, if we start with the general equation, I hope you still remember, right? FA zero minus FA, right? We have R A D V equal to D and A D T. Okay, this is zero for standard state, right? So you still can get FA zero minus FA. So here in the volume, the RA is not uniform. So you cannot take out, right? You cannot take out. So this is a general. We can uh, differentiate with respect to volume, okay? With, with respect to, the, uh, to volume. Then this is a D F A D V. This is actually zero because D F A zero is a constant, right? It's a constant. Now we have D F A D V. Okay. Uh, so here, if you do differentiate here, so this is R A, right? This one to differentiate with respect to volume, so it becomes R A. This is zero because F A zero is a constant, is a constant. So eventually, eventually you still can get D F A D V, okay, equal to R A equal to RA, right, equal to RA. So would it, would it be negative RA? No, no negative, sorry. This is a mistake. I have negative here, but this is not negative. This is, this is a positive. Why? So let me show you again. So I had a mistake here. Uh, let, let me have a, a new, new uh, slide, okay? and delete it, okay. So here actually is positive, why? Because depends on the uh, definition, okay. DFA equal to actually is FA. Uh, so this is actually should be at V plus delta V minus FA at V. So if I use DFA here, okay, I need a reverse here. I need to reverse this term. Okay, I need to reverse this term. So, so this is still plus. That's clear. Or, or maybe I, I can I. So okay, let me do it again. Okay, I start from here. I start from here. Okay, so here you will see. So, I have F A V plus delta V minus. F A V. I remove to the from the left to right. Okay, then equals to R A delta V, right? And then if, if we divide by delta V, okay. So this we don't have delta V here. Okay, we don't have delta V here. Okay, let's do it. So you have that, okay. So now you can see actually if delta V approaches zero. So this is the definition of DF, okay, DF. So you have DV, so equal to R A. Okay, no minus I here. But here I have a minus I because I didn't reverse, didn't reverse this term, okay. So again, eventually, so you still can get this uh, differentiate uh, form for the PFR. You can integrate it to get the volume, okay? To get the volume. So actually this is two methods to derive uh, the design equation for the plug flow uh, reactor, okay? For the plug flow reactor. So we have another similar uh, reactor, you know, to the 
uh, PFR. That's called the packed battery actor. So only difference is, you know, we put some catalyst in the reactor. So the catalyst, we will press them to form a bed, okay? To form a bed. That's why the name is like uh, packed battery reactor. So for example, now we have a catalyst bed, okay? In your reactor. So this is a PBR, we call the PBR reactor, right? So in the plug flow reactor, normally you don't have catalyst. I, you don't have catalyst. So if you want to derive the design equation for the packed battery reactor, so in principle, it's the same as the PFR. The only difference is now we use the weight of the catalyst instead of the volume of your reactor, right? So let's start, okay? So again, so we can, we can start with the general uh, more balanced equation, okay? So now we have FA. So this FA is at the catalyst weight, W, okay? So you have out. So this out is you add W plus delta W, right? And you have a generation. So here, as I, we mentioned again, we use uh, R prime, we use R prime because this is a rate. This rate is normalized to the weight of your catalyst, okay? Okay, so again, you have D and A, D, T, okay? So for the steady state, this is zero. This is zero. Uh, can you mute? Can you mute? Thank you. So this is zero, okay? So again, so let's define delta FA. What's delta FA? So here I want to show you. So actually DFA because of difference, okay? We normally is outlet minus the in inlet, okay? So, so it's like here. So when delta W uh, approach to zero, okay, then F A W minus W minus F A W, right? Divide by W, this for limiting actually. So limiting equal to zero, right? So that's equal to R A prime. Uh, a prime. So you will see actually uh, it's very similar to what we have. Uh, D, so you have DFA, DW, uh, A. So the only difference is now we have D, DW. W is the weight, okay, the weight of a catalyst. So for the for the uh, plug flow reactor, we use the volume of your of your reactor. Right? So same, right? So uh, again, also you can you can integrate it, saying you can get the catalyst the weight of your uh, packed battery reactor, right? For your packed battery reactor. Can you re-explain why we use um, R A prime? Oh, this R A prime. Okay, now we have uh, I put it here. Okay, so we have R A R A prime. Okay, if <clears throat> If, if you don't have any catalyst for some chemical reaction, okay, you don't need some, you don't need a catalyst. So the rate is actually is the more per, okay. So you, you will use the, the, the concentration change per second as the reaction rate. So the unit is more per liter, a second. However, a lot of reactions need a catalyst. So instead of use the more concentration, right, more per liter, we normally use actually more per gram catalyst per second. So this liter is actually the, your reactor volume, okay? Right, so, but if you have catalyst, we normally want to know how how the how your reaction changes uh, with with respect to the uh, your catalyst. 
So the unit is more per gram catalyst per second. Okay, I got it. I remember from the last class now, I forgot that prime was denoting um, catalyst. I was thinking of like derivatives, but I remember now, thanks. Okay, yeah. That's why here you say I put the catalyst, the, 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 the green, green ball. The green ball is catalyst, okay? So any reaction that flows through your, your catalyst, you can get a product. So instead of that V, I use that W. This W is the weight of your catalyst, okay? But nothing, nothing new, you know, it's actually very similar to your plug flow reactor. So, okay. So eventually, let's see what we have. Okay, that's one by one. Okay, for the <coughs> for the batch reactor, so we have the differentiated form, right? Differential form for the uh, more balances. We can integrate it to get the time, the time needed for the for your chemical reaction. Okay, for your chemical reaction. And for the CSTR, uh, for the CSTR we can get to the algebraic uh, uh, form. So it's very, actually very uh, easy form, right? It's very easy. Again, but you want to say, okay, uh, both batch reactor and the CSTR, we assume it's spatial uniform, okay? It's spatially uniform. So, so the reaction rate is uniform, okay? And also steady state for the CSTR, for the flow system, right? For the PFR, so still you have the differentiated form. Right, you integrate it. So you integrate this one, you can get the uh, volume of your reactor, right? Volume of your reactor. So this one shows you, you know, how your uh, concentration or how your uh, more flow rate changes with the, with the volume, with the volume in the, in the PFR. Then for the PBR, packed battery reactor, so it's, it's similar to the PFR. The only difference is, again, we use catalyst, okay, instead of the volume of your reactor, okay? So again, so you can integrate it, you can get the uh, catalyst weight. Okay, so this is now, this is the first important slide I want you to understand, okay? And uh, you don't need to remember it, but you need to know how to derive the more balance equation, the four more balance equations. Okay, so you need to you need to understand. Okay, uh, so so this actually is our uh, second lecture. So so now let's see. Okay, uh, the algorithm. So for example, I I I I think you have learned the separation. Uh, cost right so separation so you have several actual methods right for the separation you can do filtration uh distillation and absorption you will see you now we have three like building blocks but these topics don't build upon one another you know for the same they are they are independent however for the reaction engineering right so what we have learned now is more balance and we are going to learn rate laws and the stoichiometry rate. These, these topics build upon one another. You know, what does that mean? That means is if you build, if you want to build a house, okay? If you want to build a house, more balance is the, is the, is the first foundation. Is the first foundation, okay? And the rate law is the, rate law is the second. Uh, stoichiometry is the third. Okay, so they are the foundation. With this foundation, we can do the reactor design. Okay, so I want to emphasize again, the first uh, month is very important. Now we have some feeling of the first uh, building block, right? More balance is for the uh, second lecture. So after the class, actually, you need to learn how to derive, okay, how to derive uh, the more balances, okay, the more balances. So I hope, you know, uh, every uh, building block, you know, is solid, is solid. I don't want you have like uh, become the ceiling, right? If, we, if any building block becomes the ceiling, so what will happen? Then, 
Then you build the house. Eventually, it falls down. Right? It falls down because, for example, now, now you the more balance is very solid. Okay, you learned very well, and the rich law it doesn't learn very well, so it becomes the ceiling. Eventually, if you build the house layer by layer, uh, it will fall down. You know, it will fall down. So it's very important. Okay, so each building block should be should be a square. You know, so uh, be solid. Okay, okay, so. Yeah, it falls down, but I, I hope it doesn't happen to us, okay? So this is lecture two. <coughs> so we are going to move lecture three, okay? Lecture three. Lecture three is still is still uh, for talking about mass balances or more balances, but we will introduce another important uh, parameter that's called conversion, okay? That's called conversion. So let's get started. Let me share the PPT. Okay, so from the uh, title, you can see, right? Still more balances, but we are talking about the more balance in terms of conversion. And then with that, you know, we can actually uh, do some simple actual reactor sizing, okay? Okay, so before we start, so let's, so this already you have seen the, from uh, lecture two, okay, lecture two. So let's give you some example, right? How to use the more balance uh, to size your actor before we uh, progress to the more balance in terms of conversion, okay? For example, now you have this uh, question, okay? This, this, this problem actually. So this is a CSTR. This is CSTR. You have inlet. Okay, volumetric flow rate, as we know. Okay, and uh, you you know the outlet because this is a liquid phase. For the liquid phase, the volumetric flow rate doesn't change. Okay, and we know the final concentration. It's only ten percent of the initial concentration. Okay, we know the rate constant, and we assume this is a, a first order reaction in A. Okay, the, the reaction is A to B. Then the question is, uh, uh, can you calculate the volume of the CSTR? <coughs> the volume of CSTR. So how to solve this problem, okay? So again, I want to recall our, our the algorithm, right? So the CRE algorithm, the, actually the building blocks. So if you have this uh, a problem, first of all, I need you to write down the more balance. More balances. So for the CSTR, right, this is an algebraic form. So I hope you still can remember, okay? FA0 minus FA divided by the reaction rate, the reaction rate, right? And the second, if you still remember the, the algorithm, right? The second is the root law. Root law. We will talk about the root law in detail, okay? Uh, in, in, in lecture four. So root law, now the, the problem tells you the root law, actually, he said this is uh, first reaction order, right? So it means the disappearance of A equal to K. K is a reaction uh, constant. 
So it's the first reaction order. This is one, you know, this is one. Okay. And uh, third, the from the actual stoichiometry. So for this the problem is very easy because only A to B. So the stoichiometry is one. And also from the stoichiometry, we can know actually uh, the more flow rate equal to the concentration times the, the, the uh, volume flow rate, right? The volume flow rate. So what we are going to do is so, so we will put the rate law and the stoichiometry back to the more balance, okay? To the more to the, to the more balance. So that means we combine, okay? Let's combine. Combine one, two, three. What do we have? The volume equal to C A zero initial volumetric flow rate and C A divided by K C A. But we know actually the volumetric flow rate, right? Then the change. So it becomes C A zero minus C A we have initial volumetric flow rate divided by K C, K C A, okay? So five, now we can evaluate. How to evaluate? So we can put the, the known actual uh, value of the parameters into the equation four, okay? So here we know the final uh, concentration is only in the point one, CA zero, right? So that means, uh, and also we know K is, uh, is 0.23 uh, minutes, right? So V equal to CA zero minus point one minus, okay, point one. C A zero. K C A zero. So now you can see actually K A zero, we can cancel K A zero, right? So it becomes one. So equal to 0 0.9 K, right? Then we put the the volumetric flow rate and the K into this equation, right? Into this equation. Uh, we know the volumetric flow rate, I think is 10 uh, liter per minute, right? Per minute. So this is 0 0.9 times 10. So when you do the calculation, I hope you can put the, put the units together, okay? So this actually, it can help you, you know, to find any errors if any, uh, error you have, okay? So now you can see from this uh, equation, we can see the unit is liter for the volume. That's correct, right? So if you do anything uh, is wrong in your calculation, you can find out uh, from your unit, from your unit, right? Now, now it's correct, actually. Now it's correct, right? So here, liter per, mi per minute, this is uh, uh, per minute. So finally, you have the I don't want to calculate, okay? Finally, oh sorry. Finally, you have liter, right? The, the unit is liter. So liter is the unit for the volume. So I mean, it's correct. So it's a simple exam, uh, ex example, but I show you the, the logic, okay? For the, for the reactive design. So more balance, rate law, stoichiometry, they are always the three uh, building blocks, okay? Important the three building blocks. Then you combine them together and do the evaluation. Professor, I have a quick question. Yes, sir. So at the top in four, you had K times um, C A, but then you went to K C zero at the bottom. How did you do that conversion? Did, 
did you need to stick a 0 0.1 somewhere? Because oh, oh, sorry, sorry. this is 0 0.1. Uh, sorry, okay. so CA equal 0 0.1, CA so zero. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Yeah, always have, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you find anything wrong, yeah, you can point out. Okay, uh, let me know. Yeah, this is 0 0.1. Yeah, okay, so let's move to the second. Uh, Second uh, example. So still <coughs> the same reaction, okay? We call call A to B. So for example, the A to B can be uh, can be a reaction for the uh, isomerization. So I already show you, right? We have like the two different configurations for the butane. One is size, the other is trans. So now we we transfer it from the size to the trans. So this is also a reaction. So we we can write. This reaction as A to B, okay? And still this is the first uh, uh, order, first order and uh, uh, for liquid phase, okay? Then the volumetric flow rate doesn't change. However, now the reaction happens in a tubular reactor or P PFR, okay? PFR. So the first, uh, uh, Problem is, can you sketch the concentration uh, profile? Okay. Second, uh, derive an equation relating the reactor volume, okay, to any known actual parameter. So if you see any question like this, actually it's asked you to design your reactor, right? For the CSTR, PFR, for the flow reactor, you always need to find out the reactor volume. For the batch reactor, you need to find out the reaction time, right? Reaction time. Third is ask you determine the reactor volume if you know the exiting concentration. Okay, concentration. So let's do one by one. Uh, sketch the uh, concentration uh, profile. Okay. So this one. So if you to do it, you know, still actually you need to uh, start with the more actually more the the more balance. Right, it actually starts with your more balance. So we know actually from the more balance, we already know actually the FA decrease exponentially with the volume, with the volume. Okay, so we know the FA equal to CA and uh, Volumetric flow rate. Here you see we have a we have a lot of same uh, very similar actually uh, parameters, right? So I want to make it clear. So this is a capital V, the volume. So this is a volumetric, right? This is volumetric. Okay, and we know actually uh, the volumetric flow rate is constant. This is a constant because for for liquid phase, normal for liquid phase. Why? Because the density. Your density doesn't change too much. You know we can assume this is a constant. So that means C A okay equal to F A divided by zero because this is a constant. Okay, always equal to the initial initial volumetric flow. Rate. From from here, you, then you can see actually the concentration uh, profile. Is very similar to your more flow rate, right? So same thing, you know. So CA, if you have CA, you have volume. So still, it will decrease exponentially with the volume. Okay, with the volume. Okay. Second, the second second question is ask you to derive actually derive the. Uh, design equation, you know, for the uh, PFR reactor. Still, we will start with more balance, okay? So if you see any question, any problem, okay? Uh, start with more balance, okay? Start with more balance. So this is a PFR. So we have, we have the differential A form, right? DFA 
db equal to r a equal to r a and the root rule the the problem already tells you the root rule i use minus i because a is disappearance okay okay say a okay say a right so uh start to measure so measure we already know actually so f a equal to uh, c a v right so we can combine them together we can combine them together so what we have so we put it Put 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 everything back. Yeah. Put everything back. So we get minus volumetric uh, flow rate and d c a divided by d b uh, equal to minus uh, a equal to k c a right yeah it's correct right so here finally what we can have we can have we, we transform it okay minus k they are constant okay and put them together and you have D C A C A equal to D V, right? D V. So right now, actually, we can we can integrate it. We can integrate it, right? So so here is uh, let's integrate this equation. Okay, so. Integration. So what we have? So they are constant. We can take out. So when the concentration from C A zero to C A, C A, the volume changes from zero to V. That's, can you understand? Because C is zero. This is inlet, right? Now the volume is still, the reactor volume is zero, right? And the outlet is CA. That means the, the liquid phase, right? Flows through the whole volume of your reactor. So it become V, right? V, V. Now we can integrate it, okay? So here actually is log, right? Log CA. This is log CA. So minus K. Okay, and this K, this is log C A actually. Uh, log C A, you have cross C A zero, C A minus B. Oops, sorry. It is minus B. V, right? And finally, you can get V. equal to volumetric flow rate divided by k. So this is log ca and minus log ca zero because we have minus here. So I put a minus in. So finally, what you have is log ca, sorry, ca zero, ca right yeah that's actually the final equation the the the, the, the question asked you to derive okay so then you can also you, you can arrange it so you know you can solve the concentration right you can you can arrange it so here you can say actually from c a equal to c a zero 
but it's uh, exponential actually. K V. So you can see the concentration C A decreases exponentially with the volume V, right? That's actually from here you can see right how you can sketch the C A changes with your volume. Right. And uh, okay, Sri, what's the what's the question of Sri? Uh, let, let, let's take a look again. I forgot this. Yeah, this so the question. Okay, so it said okay. Now you you reduce the exiting concentration to ten percent of the entering concentration. Right, still is point one, and we know the uh, volumetric flow rate is ten uh, liter cubic per minute, and also we know the reaction rate. Okay. Ask ask you to calculate the v. Okay, so actually here you can use this equation. You can use this equation, right? So let's do it. Okay, so that means b equal to uh, minus k log c a zero c a. It's also equal. We will put a minus back. Okay, so log k. Log C A C A zero C A zero right, and that's equal to we we know the uh, volumetric flow rate is liter per minute. I I I like to use liter per minute instead of a uh, decimeter cube per minute. Okay, so uh, I have a question. Yes. Sir. Um, on the last part of like like on your last slide you had negative or like you had positive uh, V0 we, over K LN CA over CA, like you, you flip the negative and positive from what you had before. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. This is a positive, right? Okay. Yeah, no worries, thanks. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I always forget, okay, positive. So it's point one. I thought it's negative, you know. I I I thought I changed it. Okay. So yeah, I changed it here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't have the handout in hand, you know. Sometimes I make a mistake. Yeah. If you, if you notice something wrong, you know, let me know. Okay. So point one a little per minute divided by point two three minute. So always put the unit here. Okay. And you have log CA0 when it's put here, CA becomes 0.1, CA0, right? So eventually, what you have is, uh, eh? no, this is not 0.1, right? For the metric is 10, sorry. I remember it's 10, it's 10, yeah. So eventually what you have is you can get 100 uh, liter. 100 liter. That's that's the that's the uh, volume of your reactor you need to convert or decrease the concentration to only 10 percent of your initial concentration. Okay. So also let's take a look. Okay. For example, if the CA, okay, if we want to decrease only like uh, 0.01. C A zero. What's the uh, volume of your reactor you need? Right, the same thing. Right, you can you you can you can calculate. Okay, so this becomes like ten liter per minute. Point two three minute. Okay, so this is log. So C A zero. So you only like point oh one C A zero. If you calculate it, you will find. You need two hundred liter, right? That's actually reasonable because if you need more conversion, large conversion, definitely you need a larger, you need a larger uh, reactor volume, right? You need a larger reactor volume. Right? Professor, is it point oh one or point one? This is point oh one. This is a. This is a point. This is a, this is a point. Uh, 
0.1, this 0.01. So if you want to convert only like 0.1 CA0, okay? So you need 100 liter. But I extend the to I extend this question. For example, oh, there are two you, different uh, ones. My bad. My bad. Yeah. So this only point one. This only point oh one. You need a two hundred uh, liter. Then also you can extend if you want to fully convert it. But it's impossible, right? Fully convert is impossible. But for example, say a point oh oh one. You can calculate. You know how large of your reactor you need. You know. So sometimes you need the balance, right? You need the balance. Of course, we want to pursue there's a larger conversion, but at the same time, you need a, a larger actually a reactor, right? But you need a, you need to consider the capital cost and operation cost, right? So you always need to balance the conversion of your and also your reactor uh, volume. Okay, so this is a review. Okay, uh, let me see. We probably don't have. Uh, much time you know for for the new uh, lecture but i want to have uh, have uh, to be, to start okay have a beginning for the lecture three so lecture three so we still actually uh, talk about uh, still talk about actually the more balance okay the more balance but we will introduce a new parameter we call the conversion we call the conversion okay so What's conversion? Why or why we use conversion? So first of all, let's say what's conversion, okay? So for any reaction, okay, for example, A plus B, you have C plus D, okay? So if we know if A is the limiting reactant that means you have uh, a has the least uh, actual uh, concentration for example or the least the most and that means a will be uh, fully converted okay so we choose a is the limiting that's very important you always want to choose the limiting uh, species you know to calculate the conversion right a is the limiting species or reactant. So we can define conversion X, capital X. This is more as A reacted divided by more as A fed. So this, so the conversion is a fraction. So this a so why we we prefer conversion instead of concentration. So let's let's go back. Okay, let me go back. So here, here you will see. Actually, for the for the more balance, right? We use Na. This is more Fa. Fa is more flow rate, or it's related to the concentration, right? So that means you will see actually. For the normal more balanced equation, actually we it's based on the concentration, based on the concentration. But concentration is not convenient, you know, in in the real actual uh, system, because you 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 want to always know the concentration. It's difficult to measure, right? However, what you can measure is actually the fraction. That is a that's called conversion, you know, conversion. It's easy to get easy to get. So that's why, you know, we want to introduce conversion because conversion also is straightforward. So if people ask you, what's the, what's the extent of your reaction? If you tell them the conversion, so probably you know the extent of your reaction, right? It, it's more actually uh, uh, useful than uh, concentration itself. So that's why we introduce conversion. So now if we introduce conversion, then the task is, we want to derive the more balance equation in terms of conversion, okay? So we don't have time to derive now, but I want to show you. So eventually we will get this uh, uh, more balance equation in terms of uh, conversion. So for the details, 
uh, we will talk about uh, uh, on Friday, next Friday. So here, uh, before we stop uh, uh, our car, uh, this class, I want to uh, say two things. Okay, one is uh, uh, we don't have a uh, class on Monday and Wednesday, right? Monday is holiday. Wednesday because uh, I have a mandate uh, academic service required by the Department of Energy, so I cannot say no to to department uh, to DOE, you know. So uh, it's a whole day meeting, you know. So we don't have any class on Wednesday. Uh, but uh, I will find sometime in February, we have some uh, review class or a recitation class before your uh, first exam, okay? It's maybe more than one, uh, one hour, you know, maybe two hours. So I think uh, Thursday looks like uh, a work for you, right? I think most of you don't have uh, any class on Thursday afternoon, right? So we will find a, a time, you know, on Thursday. Uh, not only for the first exam, I think, uh, um, I would do the same maybe for the second and the third exam. So the schedule, you know, actually for this class, uh, Friday is a recitation class, but we, we normally don't do that because uh, we, we need to cover a lot of chapters for this course, you know. We only, have, we only have three hours per week, so we don't have much time, you know. So, I, I, I'm thinking, you know, I, we, I want to find extra time for the recitation class, okay? And the second thing is a, a textbook. Uh, I, I require you to read the textbook, okay? Because this is an advanced comprehensive uh, course. Just uh, listen to the lect lecture is not enough, you know, not enough. So you need to uh, read the, the textbook. Um, the lecture is help you to understand the, the textbook actually. So you can either read the before the lecture or after lecture, I think the both way is fine, but you need to uh, read the textbook, okay? Otherwise, only just be present in the class, it's not enough actually, okay? Okay, so uh, if you have any question, uh, drop me an email and I will see you on, uh, on, on Friday.